how do you approach solving difficult problems? What if it's possible to go inside your mind when you're thinking? Are you visualizing in your mind the mathematical objects, symbols, maybe? What are you visualizing in your mind usually when you're thinking? Um, a lot of pen and paper. One thing you pick up as a mathematician is sort of, uh, I call it cheating strategically. Um, so uh, the, the the beauty of mathematics is that is that you get to change the rule, change the problem, change the rules as you wish. Uh, like this, you don't get to do this for any other field. Like you know, if, if you're an engineer and someone says build a bridge over this, this river, you can't say I want to build this bridge over here instead, or I want to put it out of paper in, instead of steel. Um, but a mathematician, you can you can do whatever you want. Um, it's it's like trying to solve a computer game where you can yeah, there's unlimited cheat codes available. Uh, and so you know you, you can you can set this uh, so uh, there's a dimension that's too large. I'll set it to one. I'll solve the one dimensional problem first. So there's a main term and an error term. I'm going to make a spherical cow assumption. As I'll assume the error term is zero. And so the way you should solve these problems is is not in sort of this Iron Man mode where you make things maximally difficult. Um, but actually, uh, the way you should you should approach um, uh, any reasonable math problem is that you if, if, there, if there are ten things that are making your life difficult. Find a version of the problem that turns off nine of the difficulties, but only keeps one of them, um, and solve that. Um, and then that just figures, so you, you 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 install nine cheats. Okay, if you install ten cheats, then then the game is trivial. But if you install nine cheats, you solve one problem that 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 that, that teaches you how how to deal with that particular difficulty. And then you turn that one off, and you turn someone else something else on, and then you solve that one. And after you you know how to solve the ten problems, ten difficulties separately, then you have to start merging them a few at a time. Um, I. I, as a kid, I watched a lot of these Hong Kong action movies um, from a culture. Um, and uh, one thing is that every time there's a fight scene, you know, so maybe the, the hero gets swarmed by a hundred bad guy goons or whatever. But it will always be choreographed so that you'd always be only fighting one person at a time and then it would defeat that person and move on. And, and because of that, he could, he could defeat all of them. Right? But whereas if they had fought a bit more intelligently yeah, and you know, just swarmed the guy at once, uh, it would make for much uh, much worse choreo uh, um, cinema, but uh, uh, but they would win. Are you usually uh, pen and paper? Are you working uh, with computer and LaTeX? I'm mostly pen and paper, actually. So in, in my office, I have four giant blackboards, um, and sometimes I just have to write everything I know about the problem on the four blackboards and then sit on my couch and just sort of see the whole thing. Is it all symbols, like notation, or is there some drawings? Oh, there's a lot of drawing and a lot of bespoke doodles that that only make sense to me um i mean and and that's the beauty of a blackboard is you erase and uh, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very organic thing um i'm beginning to use more and more computers um partly because uh, ai makes it much easier to do simple coding things that you know if i wanted to plot a function before which is moderately complicated has some iteration or something you know i'd have to to remember how to set up a python program and 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 and, and how does a for loop work and, and and debug it and it would take two hours and so forth and and now i can do it in 10 15 minutes as much um yeah I'm, I'm using more and more uh computers to do simple ex explorations 